Installation of the UTS T40 is actually a relatively simple affair. Start with the back plate, which is actually threaded for AMD and Intel. We're going to be doing an AMD, so the first thing we're going to do is put the back plate behind the motherboard and get it lined up. With the back plate positioned behind the motherboard, we've got four thumb screws with bolt ends sticking out and a paper washer which will just then screw right into place and will hold the back plate into place. With the four mounting points in place we can go ahead and put in the crossbars. Crossbars provide the mounting points for the center bar, which is going to go through the CPU cooler, and is going to be the actual tie down point. After applying thermal interface material, we're going to go ahead and put the cooler into place. the crossbar and then go through the center and it actually locks into two holes in the base of the cooler and over the two nuts one nut will go onto each side of the crossbar and we'll hold the cooler into place. With the unit securely in place, we'll just mount up the fan with the included fan clips. Just that easy. And all that's left is to attach the CPU fan connector. As you can see, you've got a second wire coming down with a push button. This is going to allow for a change in color or patterns of the glowing LED fan. So all installed in the case, uh, the ETS-40T is actually a nice slim mount. Even with the fan mounted, you've got totally clear three RAM slots, so you're going to be able to use very tall RAM, any height you need, uh, in the last three slots. The first slot is blocked, but you have a good amount of space between the fan and the RAM for standard height RAM. So, sits very easily in the case, goes in very easily, all in all, uh, very clean, smooth installation. Naturally, one of the big attractions with the ETS-40T is the TB Vegas fan. As you can see, uh, it starts out glowing blue, simple push button, change to red, And of course, you can turn the LED off if you so desire.